remain. They have a way of having us live miserable lives. Right. And, and, and there is nothing more tragic and sad than being around someone who hasn't moved on from something that has hurt him. All right. All right. All right. Let, let me just say something parenthetically. These are the most pleasant people you want to be around. They, right. Anybody know some folk that, that never really moved on from something or somebody that hurt them? They, they, they hold on to the hurt. And, and it now has determined and define who they are. Who am I talking to yeah. today? They, they become bitter people. They, yeah. they become mean individuals. Anybody know anybody, any of these folk? They, 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 they're difficult to get along with. Yeah. They, they become comfortable being the victim. Yeah. And, and the truth is, the truth is, hear me, hurting people hurt people. So, so this cycle of unresolved and unaddressed hurt continues from generation to generation. And, and I'm convinced even that some folk even willingly keep their hurt at the forefront because it gives them a reason to act ugly. Are y'all here with me? So, some folk love staying stuck in hurt. They, and, and they... They use the hurt as an excuse to justify bad behavior. Yeah, some, some, some folks sim simply and adamantly refuse to move on. They, they seem to want to be there and they don't want to experience better. I don't understand these people. It, it, it just appears that, that, that they've become comfortable living in the hurt and pain. And, and, and I've, I've been around church and church folk long enough to know that misery is a serious issue in the church amongst believers. Because so many have accepted it for so long in the church that living for God with issues has become commonplace. Might I suggest to you, brothers and sisters, that there is a problem with that particular posture because God never intended for any of us to remain or wallow or be stuck in any hurt that we have experienced. Any hurt that we experience in our lives, listen, is temporary yet necessary. Somebody, somebody say temporary yet necessary. Our hurts, our disappointments, our pain, our situation, our predicaments, our hurts are part of the process. Because oftentimes it is the hurt that we experience that pushes and propels us to our purpose. And, and when you've been hurt in life, sometimes it will leave a scar. Any, anybody ever been hurt and it leaves a scar? And, and brother, sister, I thank God for the hurt in my life that left a scar. And, and, and I'm not ashamed of my scars either because it simply reminds me that I was stronger than whatever tried to hurt me. You, your, your scars is proof positive that you were a survivor. And let me pause here and ask somebody, is there any survivors in the house? Is there anybody that can testify? I thank God for my scars. Anybody that can testify? I've been hurt, but I made it. I,
But the fact, the fact is, God, God wants us to push past our pain. He, he, he wants us to progress, not to be in self-pity. God, God wants us to prosper, even as our soul. Any Bible readers in here to prosper. God, God wants us to push forward, not, not to pause in our predicament. God, God wants us to never forget, but he does require us to forgive. I, I stopped by this morning with a word for somebody that, that might be stuck in, in their hurt. They might be stuck in your pain, and you, you might put, press the pause button, but don't you let, don't you let your hurt keep you in misery. Look at somebody and say, don't you let it, don't you let it, don't you let it, don't you let that hurt keep you in misery. He wants you to move, he wants you to keep on moving. I stop by to encourage somebody, today is your day. Look at somebody and shout, it's time, it's time to move. It's time to move, it's time to move. You've been here too long, you've been here 10 years, you've been here 15 years.